Ring, ring. Hi, good afternoon. This is Ray speaking from AIG Insurance. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Hey, this is this is Mike. Look. Hey, Mike, um, what's going on? But before we even get started, I just want you to know there's no reason to feel insecure. Many men wish to have uh, insurance placed upon their sexual devices and toys. I want you to know that we here at AIG, we don't look at gender. We don't look at race. We only want you to know that your sexual toys of pleasure are going to be safe for generations to come. Tell me right now, Mike, do you, do you have children? Do you want your children to enjoy sex 35 years from now? Do you want them, when you're long and gone, to feel the pleasure from the sex toys that you did back during the mid-90s when Paula Abdul was relevant? We can make that reality. We can make that dream a reality. What's your, what's your current household income, Mike? Uh, I make 50 when I said a never year. I actually for bought anything. the dildos for my kids, so I'm glad you said all that. Oh, wow. I mean, I, it's, I, I don't necessarily want them for kids, but there's there's going to come a day that, you know, they're going to, let's say, sow their royal oats proverbially. I, I think that's the word that people use a little more often than not. And really, at the end of the day, I mean, security is what we all long for. We want to feel safe in our home. We want to feel safe with our purchases. And if you just went to a sex party by Dr. Ruth, um, and you bought one of those $375, like, you know, stainless glass sexual devices of pleasure. Let's just call them a stimulation device. You know, you, you want to make sure that $375 is going to be well spent. Am, am I, is that correct in me assuming that? Yeah, it's a little out of my price range. I was buying more of one of the plastic ones that's, you know, you get. Well, even, even if it's plastic, the last thing that we want to do is fall victim to planned obsolescence. For, so, for the low cost of $6.99 a month with a one time a year $19.99 vacuum fee, we can make sure that, and along with the car, with, with, with inflation the way it is, I mean, God knows Joe Biden is just putting us into a fucking tailspin. Uh, it's less than a so, tell me, how, many, how many devices are we going to put down on the insurance policy today, Mike? Um, how many kids I have? Oh, shit. Oh, Hold on. Do, 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 right do you have a ball there's gag? Kayla, there's, there's, uh, okay. My do, you, do you have a rabbit? I do, and the rabbit got pregnant too, so that's, um... No, no, not, not a rabbit is in the, the, the mammal. Like, do you have, do you have a rabbit or maybe a, a pocket remote controlled vibrator for your wife? Oh, so when that, you're out yeah, about on the town? Too. Yeah. Um, so I, I tell you what, right now, yeah. um, the, the end of the day is coming up, and as much as I would love to stay on the phone right now, we're 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 gonna kind of have to figure this out. So, do you have Mastercard or Visa, Mike? Mastercard oh. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean, if you have Amex, you get that two percent cash back on all purposes. You know, we we don't do any credit card transaction fees. Which which card would you like to use today, Mike? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Mastercard. Yeah. Um, okay, very cool. I'm gonna put you through with one of our fulfillment specialists, and I want to thank you for trusting us at AIG for entrusting the safety and longevity of your sexual devices. Thank you so much for your business today, Mike. 